With eviction notices now handed out at St. James Park, city officials have to worry about politics almost as much as protesters. We're all hoping that it's going to be peaceful, and uh, I know our staff are working uh, towards that end. The eviction notice, signed by the city manager, has riled a dozen councillors who want to see the matter debated in council first. I don't think that we should be doing anything to precipitate uh, an ugly incident in St. James Park, and we need to step back, uh, dis- discuss this as a full city council. Officials here have watched how U.S. authorities have moved in on Occupy encampments, including the one on Wall Street in New York that was forcibly taken down this morning. Also on everyone's mind, the chaos of G20. No one in power wants to see a repeat of images like this in Toronto. The eviction notice from the city manager recognizes the right of Canadians to gather and protest, but maintains the use of St. James Park must end, something seconded by the councillor responsible for parks. We have a park that we have to uh, prepare for uh, the winter. Not everyone buys that argument. I'm not sure that that the uh, parks and the environment argument is there. Regardless, with the eviction notices now out, the clock is ticking for authorities to enforce the bylaw order. It says protesters cannot be in St. James Park between midnight and 5 a.m. And we've been hearing some uh, cheers coming from the crowd here at the camp as that news of that injunction is uh, spreading the gazebo just behind me here where most of the people are congregated. Uh, No reaction from the police today. They refused to talk about it, saying this continues to be a municipal uh, issue and referred all comment uh, to the mayor's office. Uh, The mayor not speaking today. Uh, His uh, press office basically saying he talked about it yesterday, and until there are more developments, he won't have anything to say.